going to be a really exciting game. No trade so far, guys. Exactly. And we have this, I don't even know what this, the system with bishop e2 and bishop b5 check is called. I know the bishop b5 move on move three is the Rossellimo, but this stutter step, uh, move four, bishop e2, move six, bishop b5, the delayed Rossellimo, help me out here, guys. What, does it have a name? I don't know. I, I always thought I always thought of it more in the C three Sasonian family though. But uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever the name is, it's not bad. It's not a bad C three Sicilian. I mean, White gets a big center um, right now, poised to play the move B four, and um, Wesley trying to counter that center with Bishop B seven. But you know, the idea is Knight C three can be met by B four, so you can't put your knight on your favorite square, but you still have a big center to write home about and. I, I imagine uh, Pentel is going to play knight d2. I like bishop d3, actually, Jen, because I, it's mm -hmm. like the bishop f1. It's kind of strange. I made all of these bishop moves. I agree. I mean, I've wasted a lot of time with my bishop, but I really do like the c3 square for the knight uh, very, very much in this setup. So uh, knight, mm, d2, yeah. knight d2. I have, uh, I have old school thoughts. We talked about the art of attack by Vladimir Vukovic, and I like this idea of e5, e6 that mm -hmm. he championed, but bishop d3, not even bringing the knight out, and it looks like uh, it looks like he is eschewing that. But now um, we by the way, guys, e5, e6 um, is on the board. By the way, um, funny, hilarious news. Um, in that Hikaru Nakamura, who claims third, he can't go down to fourth, can't go up to second. Um, played a very unusual opening against a JX, uh, Jeffrey Young, E4, E5, and um, you'll never guess what Queen he played. Queen H5? No, worse than that, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Come on, can King you come up with a worse move? King, King E2? King E2. Did you guess that, Maurice, or did you keep No, I looked. Of course I looked. What <laughs> is that about? It would take you a little while, too. Uh, it would take you a little while. Um, the, um, yeah, little bomb cloud there as <laughs> King E2. Hey, right. you know, it's it's right. a fun game now, but we can't right. watch it, unfortunately. <laughs> fun, you can't castle, you stuck in the middle right. and all the pieces are developed. No, that's terrible. Right. I mean, that, that feels like a mouse slip. Right. But, but, the, but the thing about, no, it wasn't a mouse slip. No way, no way. I think he all did right. it for his fans. Great. But we'll find yeah. out for sure later. I don't think it was a mouse slip. I, I agree with you, in fact, uh, but terrible he's just getting killed in that position well can you, he can't he castle deserves. that's the problem right we, we had another <laughs> game like this it like, All right, let's, like let's, maybe let's, you could play g3 bishop g2 and castle and stave off disaster but because of his his interesting second move that will never be in the cards uh we have seen bishop g5 to h4 to g3 in this crucial game between uh Hare krishna and wesley I don't like that maneuver. I like hunting down the bishop, and I like what Black has done. I like Wesley's position because his queen is ready to come to g5. By the way, b4 is also ha hanging. So queen e2, this last move, really looked very strange. I thought g4 was necessary. But OK, um, it is what it is. We have g4 on the board. Wild enough position. This is exactly what Wesley wants for the last round. And this move, G4, the D4 pawn is hanging, but the G, uh, D4 is hanging, G4 is hanging. So got to be careful as Wesley about the timing of all this and talking about time. 305 for Pentala, 330 for Wesley. He's, he's got to try to stay calm. D4. Okay, that's a little bit of a surprise. D4, kind of like that construction over there. I thought it was limiting the bishop, but B4 was uh, Wesley's plan. I thought H5 was an automatic there. Knight, where does the knight have to go? Maybe that that's the problem. The knight just simply doesn't have a good square. Knight A4, knight D1. I'm not quite sure where this knight is supposed to go. I guess I have to go to a4. Maybe he's thinking of sacrificing a, a piece. 
remember earlier in the, against Magnus, he sacrificed a, a knight for three pawns and was doing, I thought, quite okay. Then it became a rook. Knight d1, h5. And now the issue of how do you defend your pawn on d4? Mm -hmm. Just how? Just because how? queen e3, <laughs> queen e3 is met by queen b6, right? Right. Queen e4, queen e3, queen b6, d5. My queen would be, oh, sorry, d2 the same. I was about to say I can recapture with my knight on e3, but d5 on the board. Queen f6. I, for Instantly. some reason, yeah, exactly. Instantly, like weird. For some reason, I was really convinced this queen was going to g5, uh, but queen f6. Some nice dark squares. Don't Beautiful you, dark you squares. Agree? Knight's going to go on, on e5, although the pawn on d5 was on take, but the pawn on a6 is also hanging. So that's something that Wesley had to be concerned about, although I'm surprised he didn't actually take on d5 and then move his knight to defend, let's say, knight c5, so he could go after this pawn. I guess he's worried about bishop c4 defending, but the d pawn is hanging. I suppose also you could take twice on d5, but that does invite knight e3 as a tempo and a further knight f5. But here I just like the idea. I mean, yeah, the knight on e5 is strong, but I really like the idea of planting the knight on c5. Not right now after rook c1. I would be careful. Knight c5 might allow some kind of e5 problem hitting your well, queen. He, he's, and I, he's, he's made the challenge. Wow, he's done it. And I guess Maybe it doesn't, either. I guess e5 doesn't get it done. Oh, it's on the board. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. But Wesley, Wesley had this queen g5 planned. Now there's an yeah. exchange but sack. But we're, yeah, we're hitting C1. Um, God, what, what does white do here? No, but I wanted to sack an exchange. That was, okay, that you was mean, my but, first instinct, to sack on C5. But, uh, and then maybe- But how do you get your queen in? Queen E4, the sack, Queen E4. Oh, oh, but, I see what you're saying. You want to do Rook C5 and Queen E4. The problem is if you sidestep you with your Rook, I can't play D6 and I don't mate you. Rook C5, pawn takes, and then if you well, sidestep- No, just move your Rook. Just move your rook, and then I... That too, yeah, that bishop on g7. And then my queen h7 doesn't do anything. As we've seen many a time, that queen on g7 is so beautiful. The bishop on g7, sorry. Yeah. So wait a second, it doesn't... If that doesn't work, with only 30 seconds left on his clock, Wesley has three minutes. Pintala White only has oh, 30 seconds, and he couldn't, he couldn't capture anything. This feels queen, horrible. Queen takes e5, and now... Now there's no tactics like there was before with rook takes e5 and queen takes e5 and rook takes e5. He no. just snipped it. He snipped a very key pawn there in that whole uh, sequence. B2 and pawn is hanging, by the B2. way. So the bishop will oh. take if you trade queens and he just played this bishop guy. back. To, I could even take it right now. What's wrong with uh, the B2 pawn and then leave? Well, b2 is, is juicy, and he's taken it. I was about to say bishop takes d5. Also, you know, that's a very nice button as well. But queen takes b2, I was about to say, almost forces rook c2. 11 seconds. 11, 11 seconds left for Pentala, down two pawns. No attack anywhere. His knight on h2 is bad, and none of his pieces going forward. Wesley just mm. has to consolidate, and he will tie Magnus Carlsen catching him with three wins in a row wow. at the finish line. Absolutely you, incredible. I you, mean, you challenge me. You just got to you just got to tell Wesley that he needs to win for uh, first place. <laughs> just just lie. The standings you need to win and you need to win all of these new games that he draw maybe. He just plays so fantastically in these double edged positions. I think you pointed it out earlier yes. He's almost never in time pressure. Like severe. Right. Like about the flag. You don't see him he's get been, down to one or two seconds very often. He's been very good on his time management. I wanted to say, you challenged me a moment ago. You said, what is more likely, that Wesley wins three games in a row or Magnus draws three games in a row? I would like to answer your challenge now. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley yeah, I know. looks like we a favorite were, to win we three in a row. That one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wesley looks like... Uh, 
a favorite. Totally, moment, totally. We gotta eat crow. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta swallow okay. it and say, "Yep, that's right." I was wrong. He shut us all up. But I mean, honestly, Wes, like, to me, like Wesley winning three in a row, he's a phenomenal player, and he he amassed a big score. So that's not as shocking. But it was it's just rare for Magnus to draw a lot of blitz games. Like he had almost no draws this whole tournament. But what's going on here? Knight to f5 just played, uh -oh. and now um, what, what is this? Queen takes f4. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, knight e7 check. King h8. Nothing. Um, and we're really. currently up a piece. No, uh, two pawns. Just no, 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 two pawns two still. Pawns. Two pawns, right. But, yeah. but that knight sitting on e7 didn't do anything. It was fancy, right. but it's still it's just, just two flailing. pawns. Just He's got 13 seven. seconds left. Oh, but when we play rookie eight, we're going to win another pawn on d5, right? Maybe. Oh, we're playing c5 played. played. What's that? Well, it's a tr you're giving him a little bit of a trick. I think that bishop f6 oh, boy. first. Uh-oh. Uh, well, um, what, 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 what? Nep, nothing bad yet. Nothing bad yet. Bishop, Bishop F, I was going to say Bishop F6. Bishop C3 seemed to the answer. And again, I want to play Bishop F6. I want to get rid of this knight. Or rookie eight. I, I mean, that, yeah, that knight is on my mind. But he just yeah, played rookie E8. Um, He's hitting the rook on d1, knight d6 check played with the idea that if they're f takes d6, there's e7. <laughs> Wesley, did you see Wesley's face? Pawn takes f8, queen. What do we do? No, no, no. You just no, take the knight just, and move your rook. Move just move your rook because rook. now we're, yeah. we're up. Oh, 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 no, no. We could play bishop d4 as well. As well. Okay, yeah. bishop d4 well. even stronger, maybe. Um, but but we're move still. The rook, move the rook and the guy has to take and you resolve all those issues. You have five pawns, but you're only up. You're up one? two pawns, but you also have these beautiful two bishops. After bishop parks itself on d4, your rook isn't participating. So it looks like I was going to say bishop h5. Pawn. Bishop h5 won back a pawn, right? But now, now you're going to actually. Now, if rook d4, we have rook f1 check in between moves. Right. Yeah. Now it's in. Now it's over. I. We yeah, would. But there's think. rook f1 check. Uh, yeah. King h, and okay. there it is. It is one. He's he winning. has resigned. He did it. He, he did resigned, it. and Wesley So joins the leader, Magnus Carlson, as they tie for first in the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. And that was just a phenomenal performance.